Okay, white rows are really challenging the old grey matter with this one. There are 400 llamas and alpacas in total. Three quarters of the llamas are sold at market and a third of the alpacas are sold at market. There are 125 llamas and alpacas left in total and we are asked how many llamas were sold at the market. Now, initially this might look like a fractions question because two fractions are presented to us, but um, we don't actually know um, what proportion of the total were llamas and what proportion of the total were alpacas. So actually, um, they're not. this isn't going to help us. We've not got to convert these into twelfths or anything like that. Um, it's one of those where we're going to actually just have to start drawing and see where that takes us. Now, let's have a look. I'm going to draw a block here to represent my llamas. Okay, and I've divided it into four equal size portions. It's divided into quarters because I'm told here that three quarters were sold. So I'm going to deal in quarters when I'm dealing with the llamas. Okay, so um, this is sort of representing the total number of llamas at the beginning and um, I've divided them into quarters. And I'm going to draw a block to represent the alpacas, which I'm you know, conveniently I've divided it into three equal size pieces so that I can treat these as thirds. So that's three thirds of alpacas, one of which was sold. Now, this is, you have to be careful. This block is not worth the same as far as I know, I don't know, as this block. And I'm not claiming that they are. When I draw a model and when a child draws a model, when you draw a model, you know what you are representing. And so you need to be clear in your mind um, as to what your model represents. And um, in another diagram with another problem, it might be important that each of, you know, this block might be worth exactly the same as this block. But that's not the case here. But I'm drawing it. I know what I mean by it. And um, if you know, you might think you would have, you might prefer to draw them as different sizes. So for example, you might do one, two, three, four, and then you might want to do, you know, some bigger blocks to represent the thirds or, or something like that. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, I know what I mean by it. And actually, um, in a moment, I'm probably just going to use letters to represent um, these blocks of unknown value. OK, right. So at the beginning, I had four quarters of llamas and three thirds of alpacas. And that was the total number was equal to 400. Then so three quarters of the llamas were sold and one third of the alpacas were sold and we're told that that um, that what was left okay let's uh, choose another color here what was left was worth 125 okay and Actually, what was sold, we could put what that value was. What was sold was the difference between the two. So the that was 275. OK, does that make sense? So the yellow portion is worth 275. The blue portion is worth 125. And this total is worth 400. When I say 400, I just mean obviously this is the number of animals. OK, I'm going to write this out slightly differently now because um, I know I need to try and isolate either um, a block of llamas or a block of alpacas um, and figure out what that's worth. And let's figure out how we're going to do that. Now, let's start with the uh, 
Should, should we start with the 400? Because that's that was our starting position. One, two, three, four blocks of llamas and three blocks of alpacas is equal to 400. I'm using this sort of wide spacing so that it's visually easier for me to see. Okay, I could have put these all next to each other. I just like to space it out. Um, what else do we know? We know that um, three llamas, three blocks of llamas, and um, one block of alpacas, that's the yellow bit here, it's equal to 275. And we also know that one llama and two blocks of alpacas is equal to 125. Okay. Now, the idea here is it would be great if I could um, take one line away from another line in order to cancel out either get rid of all of the alpacas or get rid of all of the llamas so that I can isolate um, one of these values. Now, let's see, can I do this at the moment? No, I can't. I can't. It doesn't sort of neatly cancel out. Um, but look, I've got one llama here and I've got three blocks of llamas here. What if I multiplied this line by three? Okay, and what, see what happens there. And that would get me to three blocks of llamas. So I'm going to multiply this line by three. Okay, I'm going to multiply that by three. So what's that going to give me? That's going to be 375. Okay, so that 125 multiplied by three is 375. Um, two blocks of llamas multiplied by three is going to give me six. Two three, four, five, six blocks of alpacas and um, one block of llamas multiplied by three, that's going to give me three blocks of llamas. Okay, you with me? So can you see how I got that? Okay, so 125 times three, everything in this is going to be multiplied by three. So I now know that three blocks of llamas and six blocks of alpacas equals 375. Now look, if I subtract this from this, so 375 subtract 275, I'm going to be able to isolate the alpacas, okay, because if I, I can cancel these out, all right, so three llamas, take away three llamas, leaves me with no llamas, okay? And then I've got six um, alpacas, take away one alpaca. Well, I can cancel those out and I'm left with five alpacas. And that's going to equal 100. 375 take away 275 equals 100. I hope you're following me here. 375 take away 275 is 100. The six alpacas take away the one alpaca leaves me with one, two, three, four, five alpacas. And the um, three llamas take away the three llamas is zero llamas. So I've managed to get rid of the llamas on this side of the equation. So I've managed to get rid of the llamas and I now only have alpacas. I have the fact that five blocks of alpacas equals 100. 100 divided by five gives me what one block of alpacas is worth. So alpacas that's 20, 100 divided by 5. So let's fill that in over here. So that's 20, that's 20, and that's 20. 
okay that means that this all together is 60 if I take 60 away from 400 so 400 subtract 60 is going to give me 340 and I therefore know that this these four blocks of alpacas is worth 340 okay now I can calculate the value of one block of llamas sorry so four blocks of llamas is worth 340 I think I said alpacas earlier so 340 divided by 4 is going to give me the value of each of these so um, 340 divided by 4 and that gives me um, 85 okay so each of these is worth 85 okay you with me and now what's the question let's go back this is where we have to we've done lots of calculating here and we've figured out a lot but what is the actual question that we're asked it, we're asked how many llamas were sold at the market so this was the bit can you remember this was the bit that was sold three quarters so three times 85 so I could either do um, three times 85 or I could do um, 340 subtract 85 it doesn't matter which way I do it I'm going to get the um, the same answer so if I do 85 times 3 and there we get our final answer okay um, and we could check it by doing 340 subtract 85 see they're both the, the same thing so our final answer so 255 llamas I'm checking the question to remember how to spell llamas of course I hope that helps